So, Mark, do you want to start? Do you actually come up and shout it in the mic? And then can the next person come up ready so we can get through this as quickly as possible? Uh, so we want a global network of prep activists and a meeting of us all together at IAS in July. Yeah! Thank you. OK, ours um, was to use um, international bodies such as UNAIDS and, of course, activism to make a central call to EU bodies to remove barriers such as legal barriers that block access to PrEP. Okay. Uh, we, want, we want PrEP heroes to, to find, uh, for, to, to go to the different communities to, to give information to everybody. And uh, we want you actually, with all the other organizations, to write a petition to the European Parliament to implement uh, PrEP in Europe. Okay, we want to work on ways to scale up the infrastructure, make it faster, cheaper, and easier to deploy, establish global information sharing about solutions so we don't have to reinvent the wheel in every country. Yeah. Great. Wait, paper, paper. We, want it. Uh, we have a call out to generic prep manufacturers globally to step up and come to market regardless of whatever fuckeries and grey area surrounds Gilead's bollocksy patent. Oh, yes. <laughs> So this is a statement, affordable prep for everyone who needs it by the EACS, WHO, and UNAIDS. And another one, trials for new slash alternative prep combinations. We want another summit next year to follow up on successes and failures. And we also want weapons to help at an international level to help local associations. We want to remind everyone that uh, elections for the European Parliament are taking place next May, uh, May 2019. So we want to start lobbying at the EU level yesterday to have a European PREC directive, ju just like we have for tobacco, and which would help immensely at the European level. Uh, we would like you to think about developing a roadmap of the cascade of PrEP access, learning from each country's experiences, uh, including the challenges and their barriers and opportunities they came across, so that we can learn from each other. Uh, building exactly on what Sebastian said, we were suggesting a real-time dashboard of country updates, including pricing, methods that are being used to access PrEP, and how far you're getting with PrEP coming into national regulations and uh, national policy. Okay, so we've got a couple of things here, uh, some which has already been spoken about uh, in the last uh, couple of days, which is partnership building to in, um, influencing with other organisations beyond the HIV and sexual health sector, but also to ensure that, uh, this, that whatever the uh, work that is being developed um, doesn't stick to one gender focus. Um, so it needs to speak to women, it needs to speak to trans people, it needs to speak to MSM, and, um, and that's... You know, that's a continuation of, 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 again, what we've heard in these last couple of days. And that's like cross-country sharing. Um, take people's uh, materials, uh, translate them into your own countries. It, ju just that partnership working across the globe, not just within your country. Sophie? Uh, just reiterating what Sophia said, uh, we decided to um, look at it quite organically uh, from the ground up and to choose five people, um, five individuals from our target uh, group that we want to um, educate and provide knowledge with. So um, get five people and uh, explain everything about PrEP and hopefully that will ripple on. Thank you. Any more? Did anyone else not get the chance to say anything? No? I have a yes. resolution which is to feature more voices of people taking PrEP on the PrEP in Europe website and within the organisation. So that's more of a sort of pledge than an intention. Okay. Right, I hear... Well, what does one say? Thank you all for coming. Thanks for your uh, energy and enthusiasm. Um, my God, we've actually finished five minutes early. Um, <laughs> And I, I, think I, I think I have to say, I've never had to say this before, I hereby declare this conference closed and all who sail in her. Bye. Have a safe journey back.